What's up, everybody? My name is Max Called the Tracks, and today for you, I have a champion tier list. As you can see here, we've got cinematic tier, beautiful, solid, mid, Rito, please rotate me. And we have all the champions and all the champion level ups ready in this video com compiled by Akafelos Gaming. So, shout out to them. I'll have the link to this video below if y'all want to watch these uh, level ups yourself and make a tier list as well. I'll have the link to the tier maker so y'all can show me what you think. And uh, yeah, so without further ado, we're just going to get right into this. We have a lot of champion level ups to watch and a lot of champion level ups to rank. But, uh, you know, I'm ready to do it. So I'm pretty hype. And without further ado, let's watch some champion level ups. And we're going to start with Bandle City we have here. Poppy is the first one. So Poppy's is pretty short. I'll play it one more time. You get full screen. Sorry about that. Uh, like it's just so short. It's not really impactful. I feel like Poppy's, and this might be. I feel like I feel like she's pretty mid. Like, it's not bad. The hammer looks cool. It's like a satisfying swing. Well, I'm going to call it mid. Definitely on the lower end, I think. Yeah. Here, let me add it so y'all can see the uh, chat box. Oh, y'all can see it already. Beautiful. It's meh. I agree. Okay, let's keep going. We got to speed run some. Now, Tristana's, that's like some 3D effects. I feel like Tristana is pretty sick. I think she definitely goes in solid. She shoots the cannon right in your face. It's got a satisfying like boom, boom. You know, you see it on each end. Like obviously I'm not an animator. I don't really make visual art. So this is just like a super basic analysis of how much I like them. You know, the criteria is pretty basic. It's just going to be my personal opinion. Um, let's keep going down the list. I, I'm not a huge fan of the Bandle City Champions. So I'm going to probably speed through these ones to be honest. To get this video going fast. Okay, Vegars, I will say, as much as I've had to watch it playing against Darkness, I actually don't hate it. I think this is one of the more beautiful ones. It like perfectly portrays Vegar as the silly dude he is. I feel like that's definitely one of the better ones. I definitely don't mind watching it. Very good, you know, pretty like this visually stimulating. Let's, let's watch that one one more time. Yeah. How dare you? No, I think I think Vegars is great. I definitely think Vegars is great. What do you mean, how dare me? Come on, like he runs up the building. It's just sick. Come on, like that's pretty good. Vegars, Vegars, staying in beautiful. Next we have Ziggs. Now, I have a soft spot for Ziggs. I think he's a real silly dude. Oh, sorry. Ziggs is sick. Let's just be honest. It's at least Vagar tier. I definitely really like this one. This might be our first cinematic tier because, like, some Indiana Jones shit. Ziggs is fire, fire. Out of the chat, the chat is popping off for Ziggs. I could definitely see Ziggs be cinematic tier. He's definitely somewhere between these two. I'll put him like high beautiful tier. Definitely above Vagar for sure. I think that's where he's going to have to be for now. He has some Crash Bandicoot vibes. Um, Not for sure. Definitely like his. had to watch this little rat level up way too many goddamn times and i hate watching it every time i i hate i hate canon with a passion i don't care how pretty it is his level up just makes me hate him his voice is obnoxious you know what chief beaver you're right let's put let's put him in rotate me let's get canon the hell out of here i absolutely agree this one is just lame runs up the dragon like you don't even know what the dragon is so it's like it's how cool can it be if you don't even know what the enemy is like nobody even knows what it is Kenan as a character is just obnoxious i can't i can't do Kenan. i'm sorry now rumble 
bro. He's got his Siri in the automobile, bro. Rumble is actually sick. Wait, it's Void A Bomb? Really, Shadox? I think Shad I think Rumble's beautiful tier. He's got his little like Iron Man vibe. He might be cinematic tier, but we're gonna save that for like the super beautiful ones. Don't let emotions guide your judgment. Nah nah nah. Rumble how is Rumble not up here? Maybe I'm gonna have a problem with the beautiful tier because I think a lot of the level up animations are very pretty, to be honest. But uh, I think I think Rumbles is like pretty sick. I, I the thing I like about all of these is like it tells you who they are really well. Like Tristana and Poppy's personality, just being their weapons, doesn't really tell you a lot about them. But like Zig's running on the bomb and like the way they these three interact with their surroundings really like kind of sells it for me. So Rumble's definitely beautiful. Mm. I feel like Nars is good, but they definitely made it shorter on purpose. Oh yeah, the color of Vagar's perfect. I feel like they definitely made Nars like shorter that way. They didn't have to like watch it over and over again when he transforms. Cause like the running is kind of boring. Let's be honest. Like the running part of his level anim animation, which is like half of it, it's not particularly satisfying. And like for that build up, you would expect a bigger roar from Nara. So I'm gonna put him in mid for sure. Um, what else do we have for Bandle City? <laughs> Spam E. <laughs> yeah. Nar is cute. Come on, Max. I feel like I feel like Nar. I feel like Nar, and I also this is like the same with Yumi. I feel like this is what I think Yumi is what Bard like does better. Bard is like way better than Yumi's, which makes it like like Yumi was supposed to satisfy you with like that mystical vibe like Bard, but she just kind of didn't, in my opinion. And also like the weird like the 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 Yumi Nora aesthetic that's like very Disney inspired, I would say, is like just not my thing. Yumi can go to hell, Nara's Giga Chad. Uh, I don't think Nara's that cute. Like he he would be cuter if he had the better voice line, but he doesn't. That's definitely gonna play a part in this. Alright, let's watch this one. A little Nora. Hers is, isn't bad if she wasn't reading for like most of it. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna give both of these, like, I just don't appreciate this aesthetic at all, to be honest. It's too boring to me. Yumi is all in on lore, kinda, too, so if you don't care about lore, yeah, I don't really know about these two characters' lore, to be honest, so. Yeah, they can, they can rot in Rito, please. Okay, let's keep this going. I think we are finally done with with Bandel City, good riddance. Da 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 da. All right, let's get into the Bilgewater champions. High tide. All right, Fizz is a classic. Fizz is a classic. Definitely gonna go in solid. The shark bite. I I'm like a sucker for like the 3D vibes. So when he like comes up with the shark bite and like covers your whole screen. I definitely enjoy that, and I think Fizz is just, you know, one of those ones you can always enjoy. It's not too long, tells you what Fizz is, just a silly, goofy dude. I miss Fizz seeing play. Fizz doesn't have a cinematic, though. I don't yeah, that's true. So, I think Fizz is solid. It's just an animation like Teemo. Yeah, but still level up animation. Misfortune probably going in mid for me. MF is residently. I agree. Sleeper, yeah. She just there's not too much to it to be honest. I'm not like a big misfortune stand. Maybe if I had like the hots for her, she would be higher. But I don't know. I think she's kind of mid. In like uh not not like as a y'all know what I mean. She's just not. She's not high tier for me. Let's keep this pushing. 
We're actually making good time through these, so maybe this video won't be hours long. Okay, so this was in like the base set to Bilgewater era where they were still trying to like incorporate the cards into the champion level ups. So a lot of them are just honestly kind of mid. Like this one might even be like a riot, please. As much as you love seeing Gangplank level up, like I feel like for both Misfortune and Gangplank, the satisfying part is when they attack, not even when they level up and seeing all the bullets hit the board. So honestly, I think both of these are going to be Riot, please. Just like revamp these ones to be more satisfying on the actual level up instead of when they attack. But I mean, I don't even mind the attack being the more satisfying part because that is kind of the theme of their champions. So yeah, I kind of think that's where both of these are at the moment. Kind of unfortunate that these uh, early ones got so outshined by future champion level ups, but let's keep it pushing. It's a Riot, please. Let's be honest. Never forgive. Looks like I'm on a hot streak. Now TF does not have that problem. TF does not have that problem at all. There's a reason that this is uh this is Mogwai's champion. I mean intro, right? Wait, who's who's intro is TF? I don't even remember. TF is clean. TF is great. Mog yeah, Mogwai's, there's a reason Mogwai used this as his uh, YouTube intro. I think TF is very beautiful. Definitely going into the highest tier. Um, cinematic tier, probably, y'all think? It might be cinematic tier. We might have our first entrance into cinematic tier. Mogwai cameo, maybe, maybe. Max, please put Pike in top tier. Lurk deck might be boring, but Pike level up is smooth. Okay, well, we'll have to see for Pike. We're not judging based on the deck they play, except for on uh, our little rat friend down here. I don't know if it's cinematic. We got some bangers coming. Yeah, I think we have to put it in high beautiful. I'll put it right here. I think TF can break up the Yordles. Um, yeah. Nautilus. See, this is another one where, like, I love Nautilus so much, but just the... Uh, this is the fact that they had to incorporate the card of it. Like, imagine if Nautilus's animation was him, like, rising up from the sea in, like, a beautiful, like, bird's eye view or something like, like, a landscape shot. Like, wouldn't that be so much sicker? Superman, how is TF not cinematic? Nautilus just under beautiful, in my opinion. I mean, I don't think he's bad. All things considered, he's definitely not as bad as, like, the GP and MF tier where like they're just boring i think it's basically like fizz where like it's solid the anchor's cool but it doesn't really tell you much about nautilus so let's go mid because just because it doesn't really show his personality much you spend the entire animation looking at water that's true that's true you prefer cutscenes. i don't prefer cutscenes, but like in this they're definitely gonna put you higher just because they're like more aesthetically pleasing 90 percent of the time so this is still the early sets exactly Nautilus just under beautiful. I don't know. Yeah. Nautilus, I think, is older. We, we could see him get higher. And this is definitely not going to consider skins either in this video. Just the normal champion level ups. Now, Tommy Kench... I think is pretty cool. I think it's definitely solid. It's definitely a step up from like, it's basically the same animation as Nautilus, honestly, where they put something in the middle of water and then have it like come up, but it's a little better, I would say. So maybe we'll actually just have it on mid, but higher than Nautilus. And also I, I want to put Nautilus and Kench above these two Yordles. Nar is definitely just barely making it into mid. So we want to put him towards the bottom of that group. So yeah, this is this is pretty good right now. I'm pretty happy with where the list is. It would be cool if he ate up the cards he's captured during the level up animation instead of the contract. I agree. I agree. That would be better. Or as well. Yeah. All right. Let's keep it going. Sorry, Tommy. How is Rumble solid? Hello. Now Pike. Pike is fire. I I love Pike. He's at least getting up here. 
How is Rumble solid? Hello, Rumble's beautiful. What do you mean? Rumble's up here and beautiful. Pike is gonna probably be my highest, honestly. I definitely enjoy it a lot. The end of the cutscene is this card art. It's a nice touch. Pike is good, best so far. Bro, bro, bro. What do you wait, wait, what is what is so contentious? I can only entertain y'all's comments so much as well, unfortunately. Alright, let's watch Pikes one more time since it's the highest right now. Like the jawfish in the background is so epic. The red eyes, it shows how like Pike is possessed as well. You want some high shit if TF is not cinematic tier? No, I think we just have some really beautiful ones coming up. We might have to reconsider TF. That's definitely our most contentious pick right now. TF is cinematic. TF is already too high. Alright. I personally hate Nami. Just like, I've watched it too many times. It's, de it's definitely Riot, please. It doesn't tell you anything about her. She's just like a mermaid. She's dropped the moonstone. Yeah. You should be banned already. TF should be S tier. There's no S tier. You gotta use our language if you wanna argue. I feel like Nami's like, Eh, she's cool, but like, just doesn't really tell you much, right? And I feel like it's a very basic animation. Happens really fast, like, you don't get any suspense, you don't get invested into it. I feel like she's definitely going to be down here. <laughs> Her alternate level up is fire. Oh yeah, the one she, where she rolls the dice is pretty cool, but Nami herself doesn't do much for me. Fish girl, tentacle mommy. This is it. Land or drown. Alawi's also like let the tide carry. No F tier, very cool. How do we, I don't know? How do uh, let me watch this one one more time? I was still thinking about Nami's when I watched it. Alawi is right, please. I wish they showed a better, like, image of Nagakaboros than just, like, one tentacle. I feel like she's definitely down here as well. This is dog shit, please. Alawi just doesn't do anything for me, same. Exactly. Rotate me tier. Yeah, all right, we might kick. I think we might actually have to put some of these riot pleases into rotate me. Like, I think Nami's down here as well. Like, these just don't do anything for us, right? Like, we're all pretty much in agreement. I feel like the tentacle just isn't satisfying and like I don't understand why she's swinging around a ball like it just tells us nothing it's very confusing to me so sorry Lowie not a wowie from a Lowie the voice lines do carry it all right here we're gonna get into Demacia I think right off the bat Jarvin's probably gonna place pretty highly and I think Galio is gonna also other than that I think most of these are gonna be very rough you don't like TF, bro, so we're not deeply taking your notes. It's carried by the tide. Alright, Jarvan. This definitely has to be like the premier Demacia one, no matter what, right? So we're definitely putting this up in beautiful, I think. J4 is pretty good. Cinematic. I think cinematic might be... Like, J J4 could definitely hit cinematic tier. Or beautiful. I don't like Jarvin's because his cutscene is random battle. That's not the one I'm playing now. That's an interesting point. You're crazy. J4 really touches his vibe. I feel like J4 is perfect. Like as a as a level up, it like starts pretty epically. Like it's definitely one of the longer like ones. The slow-mo jump off the cliff is insane. Like, that's just so sick. Like, that's so epic to me. It's so, like, it's literally like you're watching a movie in a card game. I feel like this definitely hits the criteria of cinematic. J4, just, like, it, it shows you what he does. Like, he's big on the board and he comes out out of nowhere. That's that's the thing it touches on perfectly. It's like Jarvin gets played immediately out of your hand. And, like, that surprise factor is exactly what the level up captions. He's, like, jumping off a cliff into the battle. He's got the cataclysm ult sound around him in the cinematic. Like, I feel like this is so perfect as a level up. Just like, yeah, I, th I think Jarvan has to be cinematic for sure. And I didn't expect a Demacia champion to be my first one, but yeah. 
Ooh, I forgot about Shivana. Okay, Shivana's is pretty sick too. Shivana's is actually quite sick as well. She flies into the air and does a loop diddy loop and then becomes a dragon. That's pretty epic. I feel like that's right below Pike tier. That's actually pretty sick. Shivana's is good. Shivana's high beautiful. Yeah, she's she's really good. I think Shivana's is actually one I totally forgot about. Dude, there's so many good ones. Like, look at how many I already have in beautiful. Like six. That's crazy. And we're just barely starting. We might have to create another tier to like differentiate between cinematic and beautiful. But we'll see. I definitely think this is pretty good list so far. Let's check out who's next. Fiora. Yeah, Fiora. Like, it doesn't even show you really an opponent. This is the same issue as MF. She's like, this is actually perfect. MF and Fiora go together perfectly. Because, like, why are you just showing outlines of the champions instead of actually showing them? Like, they definitely realize that that's not a good approach. Because, like, I don't know if y'all noticed in the Misfortune one, but it was just, like, an outline of her shooting. And, like, Fiora's is just her, like, flying around the random Demacian room, like, fucking people up but like it's horrible right honestly both of these might make their way into rotate me yeah i think i think both of these are pretty mid i think gangplank can get away with it because at least the cannon shot is satisfying but like both of these do nothing honestly and we might have to put uh tommy towards the end of mid as well yeah let's keep let's keep this going for that reason Fiora's all about the Nexus kill, yeah. Her her like Nexus win animation's more satisfying for sure. No one my aim. Qu Quinn isn't even in her level up animation. Like it's just random valor. Trash. Trash, 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 booty trash. Like she's she her animation is so bad she didn't even make it into her animation. Like how bad of a champion do you have to be for that to happen? Like, like it's so it's so bad it's so bad the valor yeah valor level of literally, literally it might need like a tier of its own it's so bad how to add a row below right yeah not even in it not she she literally deserves her own tier for not even so bad I wonder if any other champions will make it into this tier. Cause Jesus Christ, that was awful. I'm sorry. If you think that one's good, I don't know what to tell you. Boring. Rotate me. Rotate me. Rotate me. Rotate me. Sorry, Lucian. You're. I think MF fits well. Sincerely, that's fair. I mean, it fits her well. I just think it's boring, all things considered. I don't think it's like bad for her, but I definitely think it's boring. Oh, I didn't consider that he has kind of two. The Mossy Champs are so boring. I like Lucian's. Okay, Lucian actually might get higher because I forgot that he has a second one. I forgot Lucian has a second part to his that is actually kind of cool. He's definitely going to be towards the top of Rotate Me. Or maybe Rito, please. Or at the bottom of Rito, please, for the second part. Lucian is decent. Maybe I'm hating a little bit too hard on Lucian. This is pretty sick. This part is pretty sick. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We're going to have to reevaluate Lucian. He's going to be maybe up here, actually. At least it's quick. That's true. It is fast. Simple. It's a really good one. The second animation is really good. The first one, booty trash, but the second one makes it up a lot. So it's going to get up to mid, I think. I definitely appreciate the art style of the second one way more. Like, it actually delivers on what, like, he wants, like, the vengeance aspect of Lucian, you know? Like, the part that actually motivates him is, like, really well decorated in that one. All right, let's keep it going. Beyblade. <laughs> Alright, 
Beyblade, pretty boring to be honest. I don't think Garen does much that's worth like noting. I don't know. Maybe it's like Fiora tier. Mid. Yeah, I think Garen's higher. I feel like Garen's is very boring. Definitely needs a revamp. That's why like on the new Garen skin, it's like amazing to make up for this one. Rito, please. I, get, uh, I could see it being a little higher just because it fits who he is pretty well. It's Rotate Me. It's between re Rotate Me and Rito, please. There's definitely no going higher than that. Let's keep it going. Sorry, Beyblade. It's like cool, I guess. She just like her card spins around a couple of times. Definitely rotate me. Definitely rotate me. I'm sorry, Lux, but they did you dirty. Like, Lux is one of League's, like, best-selling characters of all time. And they just made her so boring. That's why her, like, her her uh, Battle Academia skin is so good. And probably sold a ton. Because, like, bro, this level of animation is trash, trash, trash. They knew they had to give her a new one. Yeah, okay, Galios is pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. I like Galios a lot. I think it's definitely solid. Okay, actually, we got a better distribution from the Demacia champs than I expected. I hate Lux with a burning passion, but did you notice the image of her next to the card? Okay, I actually wanted to revisit that. That's true. I wanted to revisit. What is this image next to Lux when she levels? Sorry, what? I don't, I don't understand what this is in the background. I guess it's like someone bringing light or something i don't know who this character is in the back it's the voices she heard in her head huh i guess it's kind of cool her little like baton spins around her but eh i'm over it So I really like Galios because it kind of told us Scion was coming as well. Like you can see right here that there's a character that got... Because Galios was like one of the first champions released. You can see in the corner here there's a Noxus champion right where my head is. With a axe. And that's like, I think it's supposed to be Scion, right? Because I remember during animation, so much skinnier. He looks nothing like his art in the animation. It's fair. I don't know, I just like, I'm kind of a sucker for, what is it, not like, what are those Gundam type vibes? I love his vibe from Iron Giant. I definitely like Galio. I think he's cool looking. I think it tells you who he is. He's protecting Demacia, like, it's kind of sick. Definitely think he deserves to be where he is. And into the Frail Yard we enter. Let's get Frosty Gamers as we judge the Frail Yard level ups. Um, where are we? Yeah, okay, so, you know, pretty good distribution so far. Demacia definitely outperformed. They got one in each of these top three tiers, and then a bunch are really low down here, but not bad as I expected. Now, Ash is one of the ones... Where, like, despite her not being in it, I feel like it's really sick. Like... Just the way that the blade comes together, like, it tells you exactly what she does, right? Can we, can we get some Ash love? Cause I feel like she deserves, like, despite, like, she's almost like Valor bad cause she's not even her animation, but I definitely appreciate it cause it's like very nice and satisfying. It's too slow, I think, to match the frostbite. Yeah, no, I think it's good. I think it's a very solid animation level. Like, it tells you a lot about who Ash is, right? It ties into her game mechanic. No Ash love, that's Trindamir's job. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. I feel like Ash is probably one of the best ones from Foundations, yeah. Pretty solid. I definitely think she's solid tier. Yeah, let's let's get her up here. Solid like the Freljord Ice. True Ice? I don't know, bruh. 
I think not. <laughs> Bro, I'm definitely like the same as Ash. Like, not too cool, but like very fun and like very Giga Chad. It tells you who he is, like, it's Braum. You gotta love Braum. Like, I don't know how you could see that level up and be like, eh, it's not my thing. Like, he spins around his door, which is like, for some reason, like, the weapons are so much cooler than Valor. Or, like, I guess Braum's door is not really a weapon or a shield, but, like, it's still, like, very cool to me. The protector of animals, exactly. He protects the poros. It tells you everything you need to know about Braum. And for that reason, it's solid. Not beautiful, but pretty cool. Okay. Trindomir is, I think, is like still kind of that vibe. Chad shit. Time to rotate me, Riot. Horrendous. Yeah, I don't know why this one is so much worse than Braum and ashes but like the helmet is just not satisfying like the door or the arrow it's just not satisfying at all unfortunately sorry trend I was by mid as hell very very mid definitely going down here i don't care about chibor who are you sejuani it was to match the power creep he was about to get. True. Sejuani's mid. Maybe Rito, please. I don't know. Where do y'all think Sejuani goes? It's kind of funny that she's not even in her level up animation. Like, I kind of want to put her down here just for the memes. But we have to be, like, genuine. Rito, please. I feel like this is a Rito, please. Her hand is there. Fair enough. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. She does, like, paint the boar. That is kind of cool. It's definitely way cooler than any of these. The way that she puts the blood on the boar. What's the boar called? I totally forgot. Somebody in here has to know. Yeah, we're going to keep it pushing. Also, the chain part of it right there is pretty satisfying. Bristle, bristle, right? Now, Anivia being the egg... Definitely like right here. Definitely solid, right? Pretty much on par with all three of these. Honestly, like maybe better than Ash. And I hate Anivia as a champion. Anivia is like pretty sick for foundations. That's a good point. I feel like she's up here. Nah, it's mid, really? Agree about better than Ash. Okay, honestly, either we move all three of the Froyords down to be mid as well, or we keep them up here. But these, these Froyard ones are pretty statically together because they're so similar. I don't know what Riot was on with the spinning card animation when they were making the Froyard champions, but they were loving that shit. They were like, let's just make them spin a lot and it'll be sick. Or whatever. Like, this is, wait, does any of you spin too, right? Yeah, just make the, just make the card spin. Spinning cards was all foundations. Was it? Okay, let's do Trundle. Ooh, them all. Uh, honestly, Trundle doesn't do it for me. Like, not even to the level of, like, the other Froyord ones. Bottom, not even in. Trundle carried by voice lines. I mean, he can't be worse than Trindomir, though. Let's be honest. Giga Chad. I just don't care about Trundle's weapon because I don't know anything about it. He's king of the trolls, but like, yeah, he's not even in it. Maybe he is this bad. Like, the Sandra next to. Oh my god. Yeah, like, wow. Who is simping for Lissandra? It, his is definitely better than Quinn's, 100%. It's cool in that way, but like, yeah. So we have to make it not even in their animation. TLC. Oh my god, y'all disgust me. Moving on from Trundle. This is just boring. This just doesn't do anything. I hate Lissandra. I hate Lissandra, but she might be cinematic tier. 
Run it back, run it back, run it back. I hate Lissandra, but she might be cinematic tier. Extra lick, god damn it. I think she has to be cinematic tier. Like, the watchers in the background is crazy. It tells you a lot about her. Her voice lines are amazing. And it's not that obnoxious if you have to watch it over and over again, which I've been there. I've watched this one like a hundred billion times. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I think I think it's definitely cinematic tier. Very beautiful at least. Let's keep it going. Udiers. I'm not I'm not feeling it. It's just not epic enough. Like, it doesn't tell you how Udyr fights, and it doesn't really have anything to do with, like, his endgame. So I'm definitely feeling Rito, please, on this one. It just shows you Udyr, and he's hot. Like, this one is definitely for, like, all the uh, girls and gays who just want to see Udyr up close, right? And it's not even Nudir. Like, maybe if they dropped a Nudir skin, he could get higher, but I feel like it's definitely mid. It doesn't, it definitely doesn't do anything for me. So yeah, I'm gonna put it in Riot, please. I, I honestly enjoy these ones better, as weird as that is. It just doesn't do anything for me. Let's keep it pushing. It's for the Udyr simps and I'm not a Udyr simp, so. This is what good looks like. You wanted the God of the Forge, you got it. Now this one is unfortunate. This one is actually unfortunate because it had so much potential to be cinematic tier. It had so much potential to be cinematic tier. Like. But it just like kind of fell flat right on the slam. Like the slam is so unsatisfying. It just hits down. Like it's solid. It's definitely solid. But that's all it is. But that's really all it is. It had so much more potential. There's no weight to the animation. Exactly, Ava. Exactly. There's nothing like really special about it, unfortunately. It just does what it is, you know? Better than Fizzes? Nah. I'm not feeling it. I don't think it's better than these. Just because it fell flat so hard compared to its potential. It's just solid. We have to punish it for not living up to its potential for Grumpy Ram. All right, moving into Ionia. I think Ionia is going to hit really hard and have a lot of beautifuls. Maybe a couple cinematics too. <laughs> All right, I don't like Lulu, but I do like Pix a lot. This is not a case like a Valor one. This is not at all like she's not even in it because Pix is such a crucial like part of Lulu. That's actually pretty fun. Even though I hate Lulu as a character and she doesn't do anything for me. I think Lulu's is definitely like really fun and like honestly could even be solid just because I like think Pix is cool. Valor's crucial to Quinn though. Yeah, but like it's so like it doesn't show you how Valor is crucial to Qu Quinn at all in the animation. Like you can tell how tied, because Pix reflects Lulu's personality, right? While Valor and Quinn just have no personality at all. Quinn's whole personality is Valor. Yeah, but what does that even tell you? Nothing. Like at least Lulu is like a silly woodland creature vibe, like just very whimsical. Like if this doesn't say whimsical. I don't know what does, while at the same time being like silly with the thing, right? Like, that's what I'm saying, like, it that sells Whimsical so perfectly. It's definitely better than the Freljord ones even, honestly. Lulu has a lot of personality. Burb, that's it, so bland. Lulu is canonically in a perpetual state of coke. Oh my god, Valor's the only interesting part of her, yeah. I actually like Lulu. I didn't expect to like Lulu so much, but I really like the uh, the ending of it is also super satisfying with the plant. I have survived the four speech visit. Good for you. We're on we're on Ionia right now. Let's keep it going. I like Lulu a lot. I think she deserves to be pretty high on drugs. Welcome back. 
They are under my protection. Shens is good. Shens is definitely like right above those Freljord ones that were in solid. Shen is just like those ones, but I think he might be below in it. Honestly, he's like one of those spinning card ones that is actually good. Bird puppet, boring. I feel like it's pretty good. Shen very good. He's mid to me. His personality. I feel like Shen is pretty good. Like I love the animation with his hands or whatever. Like I feel like she's pretty. I mean, I feel like Shen's pretty good. Tells you a lot about who he is. He's like mystical dude barrier. Only the survive. Zed. It's not. It's not like Trindamir. It's like again these spinning car animations. They all have to go together, because they're all about equally satisfying. He's definitely towards the top though. I think. I think. It's, I think Zed does the spinning card animation one of the best. Let's watch this one more time. My Sorry, that's Shen. The only issue with Zed's is the beginning of it. It's kind of boring. But this part is sick. So, where do you think? Like, I feel like this is an appropriate place for Zed. Towards the top of the spinning card ones. Yeah. Yeah, this is where I'm keeping him. He's solid, nothing too special. Definitely a very satisfying finish with the shadows. The colors are perfect as well. Bro, Karma's is doggy. I'm sorry. The dragonlings are cool, but like... This could have been so much better. Like, so bad. You have to play- you have to- you have to wait till level 10 and that's your payoff. It's horrible. Like, that's so, so disappointing. Why do you have to wait till level 10 to see two dragons, like, swim around the screen for 0.5 seconds? It's so bad. It's so bad it hurts. It's actually so bad it hurts. I'm sorry, Karma. I'll never play Karma for that reason. We'll bring peace to it is the animation that says see this in FF. I follow only one My okay. Own. Now, Yasuo pretty sick just like very satisfying that he cuts through his own animation definitely higher than the spinning card ones but probably not past lulu okay i'm just gonna make a spinning card tier how about that add a row below oh shit wait i might added one too many Sp spinny card solid Cause that's definitely a tier of its own. Okay, let's move all those down here. Said Anivia, Shen. Ash is gonna get grouped in with them, even though she's not quite the same. She's basically that vibe. And then, I guess that means we have to move Orin to the top of mid. Unfortunately, he caught some incidentals on that one. Yasuo's is really flavorful. Really satisfying. The music is amazing. Like, what more can you ask for? Sorry, we'll have to watch we'll to the end of Karma's real quick. The cost. Only one path, my own. Very, like, just everything about it, flavor-wise, is amazing. And it tells you pretty good. Like, Yasuo's gonna strike you and, like, cut through your board. Pretty good. I bought Ioni's board just because of the flute. Exactly. Could Swain Lee Sin be a thing? Auto Magicka? I don't think it would make sense. Or Auto Magic, sorry. Let's keep it going. I go where the road takes me. Alright, Lee Sin. The dragon wins. <sighs> See, now I've played Lee Sin a ton of times. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't fully watch that one. Let's do it one more time. My Meh? Can we rotate? Really? Y'all don't like Lee? That's surprising to me. I thought Lee was gonna be like one of the more satisfying ones. I'm not just trying to go based on y'all's opinions, but to me, like, Lee is solid, like, right up here with Yasuo. 
I don't like him either. I despise Lee and have since said Lee. <laughs> Lee is solid, but I like it because I know I've won the game. The strips is... Yeah, I guess it's pretty corny the way the strips happen. Okay, let's, yeah, let's put him on the bottom of Frito, please. But I, I have a soft spot for him. And I'm like, as I've been doing this, I've like started to realize some of my own biases. And me being a Lee Sin player definitely makes me like romanticize this one a lot more than it really is. Rotate me, no time for emotions here, Max. Oh, all right, he's at the, the top of rotate me. You're right, it does take way too long, that's true. Only I can endure the dragon's fury. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Irelia. Cannon tier. I hate you, and I've had to watch this way too much. Cannon tier. Where's Cannon? Right below Cannon. Sorry. Beautiful. Sure, it's beautiful, but it's beautiful and annoying as fuck. Yeah, Lee Sin has no dragons eating his strips or flaming them. It's lame in the dragon persona, blah, blah, dragon. What you do in Mads, don't care about her. It's a good animation. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Let's keep it going. My search is over. Now I hunt. Horrible. Literally the same as Aurelia. Horribly boring. Honestly, below Aurelia. Rotate me. Get Ari out of here. Like, I'm sorry. All these suffer from the same issue of just being like horribly boring champions to me and having animations that don't intrigue me. So I'm sorry if y'all simp for Ari and Aurelia, but they're going down there. Ari is so boring. Heart is too much. Yeah. Aurelia's animation is a good animation, but the problem is that it's on Aurelia. Exactly, Crossman. Exactly. Y'all get it. Heart beats with mine. I don't hate Ari, but Aurelia gives me PTSD. Okay, I've leveled up Master Yi probably like four or five times in my whole time playing him, but every time I have, it's gotta be cinematic tier. Master Yi has to be cinematic tier. That one is so sick. Also, yeah, I hate Ari's heart. The world's heart beats with mine. Shh. Hope lives in the edge of my place. Bro, that's gotta be that's gotta be cinematic tier. He is like I'm on Alpha Strike. Yeah, it's gotta be cinematic tier. Where do y'all feel like he fits between these? Let me know as we watch the next one. Noxus time, baby. Oh, I should subscribe to this person. Wait, let me do that. Making a whole video based on theirs. Since when is Ari elusive on level two? She always has been. <laughs> Yo, this is like, I wish I could even put this one in spinning card tier, but it's not solid. I'm sorry. Just, I'm sorry. It's so bad. It's literally getting rotated for this reason. Noxus has some bangers, true. He's not as good as Lissandra, I think. I, I don't know. The green color is so satisfying to me. Rotate. All Noxus animations should be judged by how much they make you think. This dude is about to rip me in half. Exactly. Vladimir's is so mid. I'm sorry. I'd never keep my guests waiting. Stop. Empire above all. Swain's pretty good i like swain's a lot swain is like exactly where nautilus is for me top absolute tier actually he's no i mean wait okay spinning card solid might have to go below right here yeah monkas like that way better than tristana's is it beautiful? Is Swain's beautiful? Wait a second. He's below Yasuo. He's like, ya no, he's definitely like Yasuo tier. He's definitely like Yasuo tier. They, they definitely have like the same vibe, like perfect music, perfect flavor. Just they're not really like in it that much. Yeah. Okay, this is starting to make more sense, right? The whole map taking over the world. Yeah, Noxus, like, it definitely has this flavor a lot more. Ziggs getting appropriate love. Yeah, Ziggs is definitely up here. 
Okay, this this tier list is looking pretty good so far. Let's keep it going. Or encourage excuses for war. And I thought I was already perfect. <laughs> Draven's pretty good. I love leveling Draven. Makes me feel sick. Very solid. Definitely way above the spinning card solid. Mm, definitely above mid. Carried by voice lines. You think so? I think the, the, the axes coming down like this are pretty cool. I definitely enjoy that aspect of them. Are we like halfway? Okay, I think we're at the halfway point basically. I think it's worse than orange. <sighs> yeah, it has to be worse than orange, doesn't it? It definitely has to be worse than Orns. But it's not mid. It's definitely not mid. Orns is just mid because it failed to live up to expectations so much. It's between solid and mid, but I think it's solid for sure. It's going to be at the bottom of solid. It could be better, but I have a soft spot for Draven. Bring him back. Once he's a 3-3, I'll put him at mid. Spinning card tier. Definitely spinning card tier. I like Darius a lot too, but he doesn't beat these ones. He definitely doesn't get up into this range, that's for sure. He might be higher on the spectrum of spinning card tier, like up here. Also, Ash is better than Shen. Yeah, animation's not that bad. Rotate me. Nah, I mean, Darius is good. His animation badge. It's spinny card tier. It's literally spinny card tier. There's there's no other way to put Darius. It's about Nivea level. They're both six costs. That's pretty fitting. Yeah. So simple. Yeah. The hand of <laughs> They'll never know what killed them. He apprehends the screen though. It's just like Garen. Actually, wait, is Darius like more like Garen, but I just like Darius? Does he actually belong down here? Or am I trolling? He's like literally Garen. Katarina's the worst we have. In I like Katarina. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. But alright, let's let's put let's put Katarina on here and then we'll do the minutia of them. Spinny solid. All right, let's put it. Yeah, spinning card solid. I think he's up here. And then Katarina, I thought was pretty decent. Like the blades are definitely, I feel like she's Draven tier, basically. She's like pretty much identical to Draven in satisfaction level for me. You're trolling. Darius is claustrophobic. He's strangling you. Darius spinny solid. What is... I don't understand. Wait, I need to watch Darius this one more time. Sorry, guys. He's strangling you. What does that mean? No, he's... No. Alright, let's keep it going. Katarina, sure. Darius is my guy. Fair. Beyblade. <laughs> Okay, Riven's is pretty. It's kind of like Ashes. The skill in LOL grabs you close to him, gotcha. I've never thought of him strangling me. He's Darius is Q. It's just Q plus E. Riven is pretty cool. It's definitely like Ashes. Also kind of like... No, yeah, it's pretty much like Ashes. It's not really spinny though. It is kind of spinny. I think I can sati be satisfied putting her right here. It's definitely prettier than Ashes. Like, it's a couple different things coming together and then getting shot off. It's, like, pretty much right here. And it's not much prettier. It is prettier, though. It's definitely prettier. All right. Yeah, I'm satisfied with where I've got Riven. Let's keep it going. I am everywhere. I am everyone. Blancs is pretty good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why are we going so fucking fast? LeBlanc's colors are really pretty. This line is cool as hell. Yeah. 
Riven's at least solid. I don't know if she makes it into beautiful. Just because she's not really in her animation and there's not much animation to it. I definitely like her better than like Tristana. I think, yeah, I think LeBlanc. LeBlanc is beautiful for sure, but I might be biased. Gold, the colors of LeBlanc carry her so much. Like, I'm pretty biased. The bonk is solid for sure. LeBlanc's card flip is carried by her splash art. When you look at it, it makes it so much more badass. I agree. LeBlanc's level up is heavy on symbolism. It tells you a lot about LeBlanc, which is really important. Like, it tells you exactly who she is as a character, which is why it teeters between beautiful and solid. But I think if it was a little more involved, it would hit solid, but it's just not, unfortunately. But I love LeBlanc's animation. I definitely think they did pretty good with her all things considered is hers worse than rumbles for sure i i don't want to watch rumbles again but hers is definitely worse because rumbles is kind of epic in its way like it's like it's out of it's almost like cinematic like i don't know i love rumbles okay now scion all right let's let's be honest Crashing the castle is too epic not to be cinematic. I don't like it, but it's not bad. You aren't even looking at the actual LeBlanc. All those colors could be that this is just another clone done by magic. Like, I'm not crazy. Love the goofy boy. Let's watch Let's watch Scions one more time because it is pretty fast. Rump. It starts amazingly. It's got hella... This is like Michael Bay shit, baby. Like, this is definitely, definitely S tier. Probably towards the lower end, just because it's Michael Bay. Like, you're just getting the explosions, and it's like a very basic level of satisfaction. Like, there's not much too much. There's not too much to say about Noxus. Like, they're gonna fuck up your war. They're good. They're the warring people. It's like pretty simple identity. So it's not. It couldn't be like too complicated. Like Jarvan. There's a little bit more to his, but I think it's really good. If if they caught like his redying part of it, it would be S tier, but it's like it, it's pretty much S tier on its own, just by showing how epic of like he he's a battering ram and it gets it perfectly. Is Sion a transformer? It's a very good lore explaining. You feel powerful leveling Sion. Exactly. It's all about the feeling vein. I definitely agree you feel great when you level Sion. That's a perfect way to put it. Exactly. Alright. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Death had its chance. So I like Annie's and it's definitely beautiful. But I think the voice lines need to be better. Like Rumble suffers from this as well, that the voice lines are so bad. Annie's lines are rough. Yeah, they, they should have found a different voice actor for these two, in my opinion. Because this just sounds too much like Rocket Raccoon. And hers just sound like an adult. So it's like... I don't know. I think those two need some work on the voice lines. But other than that, they're very beautiful. And hard to argue anything below that. Yeah, the level up would be better if it was mute. True. A bit long, but damn, it's cool. Yeah... And Swain and Yasuo are pretty much the same HP, don't worry. They're like not much of a difference in tier. Let Tibbers do the talking. Tibbers being more involved could have been cool. And now we have our favorite region, Piltsilver and Zon, Arcane vibes. I think Arcane being so good is going to hurt a lot of these champions, to be honest, because we see what they could have been in terms of coolness. But we'll see. Starting with a low ball, our little sperm cell level of animation. <laughs> oh man, Timo, they did you so dirty, but I love you so much. You're gonna be cinematic tier, anyways. It's okay, buddy. Actually, you're you're above cinematic tier, Timo. You're gonna be above cinematic tier. Add a row above. Sperm cell. Sperm cell tier. Go did. Did someone say Arcane? S tier by far. Timo's my heart out. It's 10. S tier Omega Lol. Arcane from the hit card game Legends of Runeterra. Yep. Satan. Yeah, I like how he, he put Satan in the description. 
Yeah, definitely what Teemo is. Like, this is watch this one more time. Why did they make it look so much like a sperm cell? It's so bad. It's so fast, but like, it's it's Teemo. Like, you can't hate Teemo. It's Teemo. It's literally exactly what Teemo is. It's his tail. Teemo doesn't have a tail, does he? I don't even know, man. Let's watch Heimer. This one falls so flat for me. Like, it's cool. It's kind of like Darius. It kind of just falls so flat. Like, it could have been so cool. Spinny card solid doesn't really do it justice, though. It's definitely more towards here. Like, Riot, please. Like, F tier bad. Yeah, they did Heimer pretty dirty, to be honest. It's somewhere around here. I don't know where exactly. For now, I'm just going to put it in Rotate Me because they definitely need to re redo Heimers. It could have been so cool. And, like, a lot of the Heimer art is so good. I mean, his level up art is horrible, but other than that, like, he's pretty good. So, redo Heimer, please. To win, and my aim is excellent. All right, I love Caitlyn's. I love Caitlyn's a lot. I think Caitlyn's is actually very satisfying. Cinematic, easy, cinematic. I'm seeing a lot of cinematics. I agree. As a certified Puffcat peddler, she's probably going to be cinematic. Yeah, she aims to win. It shows exactly who she is. It shows her, like, kind of saucy personality. Like, it's definitely cinematic tier. I just want to put Caitlyn and Teemo together. Don't worry about her him her being higher than Jarvan or whatever. The bomb ticking down audio is great. If Kate did a barrel roll entrance, it would have been S tier for me. FBI open up cinematic. Caitlyn, I let her shoot me out of ten. <laughs> yeah, it tells you everything you need to know about her for sure, for sure. Better than Jarvan, yeah. Don't worry about her being better than Jarvan. It's just for the meme. All right, Ezreal is definitely a spinny boy and definitely towards the top of it. I think it's going to have to be above Darius and Anivia. Probably above Zed too. Um, not very good, but solid. Uh, yeah, I think I think pretty good. I think this is pretty much where it should be. Do we have any more opinions about Ezreal? I think that's like definitely just spinny tier. The gauntlet is pretty well animated, which is why he's higher than Zed or Anivia. Cause like the egg's pretty, but it's not that pretty. Same with the shadow. Um, the door, I might actually be underrating. I think I'll put the door higher than at least Shen and Ash, but let's keep going. So Jinx, I think, could have been so much better. Watch this one more time. Doing it. Like, the graffiti's are great. The graffiti's great, but once we saw things like Caitlyn's, it just did not age well at all. It is fun. And it's like, it tells you who Jinx is pretty decently, but like a lot of Jinx's resources were devoted to making her rocket cool. So she's definitely going to go towards like mid, maybe even Rito, please, bro. Like I can't really justify putting her above like most of these because at least these are a bit more satisfying. Like the spray paint doesn't do much for me. Yeah. She's above GP. That's fair. Definitely below these though. And Nudier as well. The level up power creep in this game, SMH, bro. The level up power creep is insane. Yeah, her sound lines could have been better. Not by that much, but a little bit for sure. <laughs> now Vi punching the wall, that's definitely a lot better. Definitely a bit more satisfying. I think it's mid though. Vi solid to mid. 
I think she probably is like one of the better base set ones. Spinny card solid. All these cards are spinny. Feels Vi, makes you feel Vi. Yeah. Yeah, Vi is good. Vi is solid. I see a beautiful. I don't think we're going to get anything high. Ragna, I'll talk about you that later after this video. Um, she gets her theme music at the end. Below Swain, I think. Yeah, yeah, definitely above these two. Like, these two are pretty much the same that are solid to me. And yeah, let's just keep it going. Again, suffered a lot from seeing how badass she could be via Arcane and seeing, like, Caitlyn's level up. <laughs> Get this out of the game. Disgrace to disgrace to Victor. I'm sorry. Rotate it. It's it's exactly where Heimer is. Victor's very good. What? What? Victor's horrible. Not even an animation. No, literally not even an animation. Wait, where did I put him? Where did Victor go? He disappeared. Must be new technology. Oh no no, it's right here. I'll complain about MF being that low, but the hype card is the skill of level 2. Exactly, Koda, exactly. Victor is good, don't hurt my feelings. I don't enjoy Victor, so I'm biased. It's better than Heimer. Is it? Actually, Heimer belongs down here too. I think it's good, the card gets augmented. That's like the only redeeming quality of it is that the card gets augmented. Like literally the only redeeming quality. All right, we'll put it at the bottom of Rotate Me. The card is literally getting upgraded. Yeah, but where is Victor to be seen? Victor Hater can't even. I'm, I can't with y'all. Victor's is horrible. Build up. There's no payoff. There's no payoff to Victor's. You just see the back of a card. Cinematic tier. Easy cinematic tier. Easy cinematic tier. Let's watch this one more time. Right? Victor's voice lines do help him a lot. Easy cinematic tier. Easy cinematic tier. Let's put yeah, let's put it right here. Sorry. Uh where do we put him in the cinematic though? Definitely above Scion. I think him and Master Yi are perfect equals. The skin cow we're not doing skins. Yeah, it literally is a cinematic exactly. Easy clap. Yep, looks beautiful. All right, let's keep it going. That one's simple. No, no afterthought. Okay, this one's beautiful. 100% beautiful, but not quite cinematic. Definitely not cinematic. I'm obviously going to put it towards the lower end of beautiful. It has to be higher than Annie. Jace is mid. Not cinematic, definitely not cinematic, but like you have to appreciate this was like born of the arcane age. This one is all right, nothing dazzling. Honestly, his voice lines are bad. Maybe I'm just a taste lover. Mid, solid. Interesting. This one is I, right, nothing dazzling. All right, maybe I have to put it down a solid. Maybe I'm just a Jace lover. Beautiful, ignore the haters. I think it lacks charisma. That's fair, bro. Jace level up is satisfying. That's what I'm thinking. It's beautiful. Okay, I I'm going to put it towards the low end of beautiful. Definitely needs better voice lines, that's for sure. He's just in the lab. I don't know. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. I can't get let y'all's opinions cloud my judgment. This is where Jace belongs. Definitely beautiful. Very satisfying for me, at least. Runeterra champions are super hit or miss for me. Super hit or miss. Um, there's, I think these are some of the highest highs and lowest lows for sure. Well, maybe one of the lowest lows. I hear it now, the thunderous applause. We must all play our part. All right, so Jack's issue, Jack's issue for me, cinematic S tier. Jack's issue with me is he's like Orn. Where I think he could have just gotten a little better, right? For a tier, that's funny. Like, I feel like Jax... I, I'm sorry, Jin. I feel like Jin could have just been, like... I feel like he's at the bottom of Beautiful. Definitely not cinematic. You're crazy if you think he's cinematic. Because to me, he's like Tristana. I think Tristana and him are, like, perfectly 
together like you you understand the character like they're cool but i don't think they're particularly satisfying i like four tier all right we can put a tier below beautiful and solid and call it four tier i'm down add a row below that's fair four tier yeah it's it's four tiers down it's perfect that's that's where Jin belongs four tiers down exactly Jin needs his music theme so bad to be perfect his fourth shot literally aims at the camera okay I'm not gonna argue with y'all about Jin because y'all are emotional about this cinematic 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 beautiful super satisfying he literally goes through other level of animations oh sorry Bard you? Look, he's in Shivana's, he's in Galio's, like, bro, that's cinematic. And it's so fast, it's so fast. Bard is cinematic. Bard trauma aside, good animation. Come on, guys. It's gotta be cinematic. I think it fits right here in cinematic tier. Pretty high. It's so good, 100% cinematic. Not arguing with y'all on this one. Definitely non-negotiable. It's one of the most satisfying, beautiful. It definitely shows him as a celestial being and the playfulness of his character. It's perfect. Playtime. Step on me. What? Did someone say something? Cinematic, 100%. Cinematic. Give whoever made this one a race. <laughs> I hate them, but... Kino level up. I don't even know what Kino is. Agreed, Max. Yeah. Agreed. Where do we put him in cinematic? Put her in cinematic. Got mixed feelings about it. It looks good, but nothing special. I think it's very satisfying. The colors feel perfect to me. I think she's on the lower end of cinematic, to be honest. I think Scion might be being did a little dirty here. We're going to put him right here. Maybe she's the worst cinematic one. She could honestly be beautiful. Not cinematic, but I think she's cinematic. Just because I have, you know, personal bias. Evelyn, yes, yeah. Evelyn's great. Evelyn's definitely one of those high highs from, like I said, we've already got two cinematics out of the Runeterra champions. Like, they cared a lot about those ones. And Jin being F4 tier is pretty good. Like, they're all very special in their own way. And Kane is special for being so fucking dog shit ugly. This literally looks like it's out of Nickelodeon All-Stars. Fucking horrible. Get this ugly shit out of my face. Get this ugly shit out of my face. Dog shit. I'm sorry. Rotate me. Now this I hate. Poo poo. Wow. Sorry to any Kane lovers who are watching this video, but your, your champion has a horrible animation. Literally looks like it's from Nickelodeon Brawl Stars or whatever the other one is called. Looks like it's out of a poorly designed fighting game. Ugly as hell. All right, let's do Jax next. Y'all know where Jax is going. Let's be honest. A thousand years of battle and I'm just warming up. Easy cinematic. Definitely on the low end of cinematic. Might be high beautiful. But for now, I'm going to put him at the bottom of cinematic. Epic as hell. I, I think Jax is epic as hell. His voice lines sell it so much. His voice lines sell it so, so much. Epic voice lines. Yeah, his, definitely probably the v best voice lines in the game to me is Jax. Let's keep it pushing. And now we enter the Shadow Isles, my personal favorite region. I have a lot of these that are going to be biased, so I apologize in advance. But um, it is what it is. My true beauty is beneath the sea. At least beautiful. She's definitely not a spinny card solid. I love the heartbeat. She's gonna be beautiful. I don't care what y'all say. Rotate, tell me that's not beautiful. Nah, what? No. Like I said, guys, I'm gonna have a lot of biases in this one. Elise is one of my favorite champions. I've seen this a million times, never get tired of it. Definitely beautiful. Let's keep it pushing. Skin. Definitely one of the base, best base set ones. Same with Kalista. At least it's very thematic. Yep. Same with Kalista. She's going high up here. Way higher than she might deserve to be. I love her level up so much. I'm just going to throw her at the top of spinning card solid. I personally, 
might have her a high solid. No, let's put her above Draven and Katarina. That's actually where she belongs. Because Draven and Katarina are satisfying in a similar fashion. And I think Kalista tells you a lot about her. So the triple arrow through her. Bro, Kalista... Is Kalista even animated? Yeah. Pretty much like Draven and Kat, I think. Let's look at Hecarim real quick. Very satisfying. Spinny card solid. That's an easy ranking. I actually don't care for Hecarim that much. So I think he'll go like right here. I don't think his level up's more satisfying than the Gauntlet or than Zed. But yeah, Spinny for sure. Yay, Spinny. Spinny good. Didn't know Kalista was Spinny till now. Yep. Kekarim. Now Thresh. Thresh is amazing. Thresh is beautiful. Just like Elise, definitely making it into beautiful tier. I love Thresh's animation. It tells you exactly who he is. It's sick as hell. Really feels good, man. Why is Caitlyn tier one? What? Get out of here. Okay, Hecarim is literally just a PNG. Thresh, man, what? Beautiful, still a spinner. Definitely beautiful. At least the, the Shadow Isles spinners make it out of the spinner category. Thresh is the best spinny one. Yeah, you're probably right. I'm sorry, Elise. Thresh is gonna beat you on the spinnies. Malkai. Actually goaded. Actually goaded. I might have to make a category for Maokai. Pause. Okay. So good. Maokai is so good. I'm gonna watch it one more time. It just literally mills your deck. Definitely beautiful. Definitely beautiful. They put a lot of work into this animation. They have the sapling milling their deck. It's beautiful. Maokai is sick. I'm um, going up here. Beautiful. Mm, I'll put him nah, below those. Nah, I'll put him above Thresh at least. Like above Annie too, just because good voice lines. Does the sapling running count as part of the level up? Is S? No, I think I think it's definitely beautiful. Nocturne. Okay, well, alright. Nocturne. We're gonna have to be quiet, everybody, and just enjoy this one together. Literal horror movie, cinematic, easy. Easy cinematic, super satisfying progression, giving everything fearsome at the same time. Nocturne is easy cinematic for me. If you don't think Nocturne is cinematic, you're trolling. I think even above Jax, probably below Evelyn. Horror movie, good, like, very good shit. Love the Whaleheim scream they throw in. Yep. Wow. Very good. Very, very good. Let's keep it pushing. Kindred. Yes, it's fun. Who will we chase now? Everyone, dear wolf. Very, very good. Not cinematic. Probably not even beautiful, but very solid. Uh, definitely better than LeBlanc. She, they're they're going to be at the top of solid for sure. Cinematic? Oh, no way. The the lamb is just boring, unfortunately. If if the end of the lamb wasn't boring and they showed the wolf too, it would be cinematic, but it's just a little boring. It might be beautiful too, but the voice lines are very good. The voice lines carry it a lot. The mask part is great, but the second half is met exactly where I'm at, Fane. Exactly what I'm at. Needs more wolf. Yep. Better than LeBlanc? That's Cap. Okay, okay, I actually have to revisit Kindred real quick. Sorry about that. Oh, uh, beautiful Nocturne. I'll rewatch this. Cinematic for sure. Yeah, so why why is the wolf not in the second part? It's only the lamb. That's like the big question mark. But I definitely think it's... No, nah, it's worse than LeBlanc, y'all are right. Alright, Viego's gonna be a super conscientious one. Kind of badass, actually. Viego's is kind of badass, but I personally hate it. I think it's gonna go like exactly where Udyr is. To be honest, it's made for certain kinds of people, the girls and the gays. So yeah, it's gonna go on Rito, please for me, because it doesn't satisfy me. But I can see where other people may love it. 
It's fa yeah, it's also way too fast for how hard it is to achieve. E-boy, Viego rotate. Best part of Viego level is you get to look at his abs for longer. Yep. He's Viego and I hate Yeah, everybody hates Viego. There's a reason he just caught a nerf for no reason in the last expansion. I'm not gay and I enjoy it. Okay. Senna's is pretty sick. Let's watch this one more time. Pretty sick, actually. I've never heard Senna's music. And that actually sold it a lot more for me. I didn't expect to put Senna's high. But she's definitely solid. She's definitely solid. Probably above the Yasuo and Swain tier. Senna's is good, but kind of boring. Senna's music kind of hype at the end. Yeah, I didn't realize that. I've never heard Senna's music, but it's actually pretty good. Senna's is very satisfying. Same situation as Swain and Jace. That's fair. That's fair. I definitely think she belongs to be up here in solid. Not beautiful. Not quite beautiful, but pretty solid for sure. Oh, that's Lucian's theme? Mmm, wait. Uh-oh. That changes things. Wait, you don't like Viego's? Not really, no. It's just not satisfying enough for how hard it is to achieve. Alright, fuck it. We're gonna continue. I find Gwen to be beautiful. I find Gwen's to be quite beautiful, actually. The scissors are super satisfying. Gwen wins and where her weapon... Gwen might be one of the best weapon themed ones. Like, way better than something like Kane, obviously, even if Kane wasn't, like, ugly as sin. Um, I think she, she definitely makes her way up here. She's so optimistic. Her voice as well just makes me happy. I think Gwen is barely solid. Gwen is really pretty, but it's a little boring. I might be... I, I'm not to the point where I'm so into Gwen that I have to be blinded by my appreciation of her. Not putting Gwen in beautiful is illegal. I feel like she's definitely up here. I put her above Ziggs and that makes me sad. Nah, she's up here. But I think she's low. I feel like she's low beautiful. But I definitely appreciate how good of a weapon based one she is. Because the scissors are very satisfying, especially in the start of her animation. Let's keep going. All right, Akshan, let, let's do Shirima. I think Shirima is definitely going to be probably one of the highest rated. As we all know, they have the uh, cinematic, they have the movie, they have the Schneider cut. They have a lot going for them. So let's, uh, let's push on to Shirima and see how much they destroy these rankings. Oh boy. Saved some of the best for last for sure here. Actual cinematics, literally. KFC. Come, my destiny awaits. Grab the popcorn tier. Okay, okay, yeah, we might have to make a grab the popcorn tier. But I don't want to mess up Jin being the tier four, so we'll just have to know in our head that it's the grab the popcorn tier. I think Azir definitely makes its way to like. It's gotta be up here. Azir is maybe the worst two tiers? No way. Tell the people what you've seen today, Burima. For all the memes, Azir level up is really good. I have to sit through it over and over again and I might as well be hype as Azir's. Yeah. I definitely think Azir is up here. Especially the level 2 animation where they all hit their sticks as all the sand soldiers hit their spears. Like, that's very, very satisfying. I think, I think it definitely goes up here. It's hype. I wanted to tell the people, Madge. Pounding the spears, yeah. I think he's definitely up here. He might be low beautiful, but I think he's gonna be in cinematic for sure. Let's keep it going. The expanse of eternity stretched out before me. Nasus amazing. Definitely cinematic. That one not as good, honestly. Nasus level 1 alone is cinematic though. 
Level 1 alone cinematic tier. Better than Nocturne, better than Evelyn. Probably better than Scion. And I think that's where he's going to go. I think I have to push Bard up a little higher. Above Lissandra as well. Both brothers are S tier. Level 3 Nasus is amazing. Nasus level 2 animation is what I wish Darius level 2 was like. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Renekton is overall better than Susan. Let's watch it. Amazing, amazing, literal movie shit. So epic. It's like that first time you see Groudon in a movie. Y'all know that movie with Groudon, the Pokemon? I feel like that's the vibes you get when you see Renekton. Easy cinematic tier. Probably above Echo, honestly. Might even be above Master Yi. The first Renekton is so yeah that it's I'm a sucker for a good fight scene. Like if he was cutting people with his blade in his animation, he would be here. But Renekton is how is Bard so low? No, Bard Bard is up here. But you can't. These are really good. Renekton might even be above J four. I think he has to be. I think Renekton's pretty much my real highest right now. Let's watch him again. Oh. That's not that good. That's not that cool. He just big, gets big. This is actually hype as hell. Bro, like that, there's there is nothing that beats that. There's nothing that we've seen so far that beats that. You can't tell me. Bro. And then you just add that icing on the cake. Alright. Sivir. Pretty good. Very, very good. I personally hate having to sit through this one. Especially when she was popular as a card. Because it's not... At, like it, It's got Renekton vibes. But it's not like satisfying like Renekton's, you know? Like the blade being so wor like if I think they could have done a lot better on the blade sound. Sivir level 1 is great, but not even, yeah, not even close to Renekton. She definitely is above the Shadow Isles, definitely above Annie, Maokai, definitely above Jace. And then I think that's where it stops. I think she's below Rumble, Vagar, yeah, yeah, that's where she's gonna stop for me. Yep, yeah. Gwen is better? Nah. Wait, yeah, wait, 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 Gwen is better than all these for sure. What am I saying? Yeah, okay, wait, actually, yeah. No, Gwen is definitely better, you're right, okay, perfect. That, that clarified a lot for me, actually, watching that one. Talia, so good. Cinematic. As much as I hate to say it. As much as I hate to say it, she's cinematic. Talia's great. Definitely cinematic. Super satisfying. Bro, look at Shirima, bro. So inspirational. Music on point. Has Shirima had anything below Beautiful? Like, this is ridiculous. She's above Azir for me. Definitely above, above. That's where she stops. Music on point? Wait, why is Swain so low? What do you mean? He's solid. It's good. Swain is great. But where is Shurima's lowest one? Actually in beautiful. Like, see how broken Shurima is as a region? Yeah, Talia's literally looks like a movie, the face in and out, I agree. Literally, this has to be Bard tier, basically. I think as much as I hate Zillion, and it's a little boring, this has to be like Bard tier in terms of just how beautiful it is. No. It's not cin- is it cinematic? I can't justify putting this above a lot of these, just because it's not as cool to me. I could put him low cinematic or high beautiful. Lore Zillion made me believe in the time guy again. What are we thinking about, Zill? I'm actually torn on this one. Let me watch it one more time. Because it starts off really good, but then it's kind of boring. Stone, faster than the wind. Time waits 
Like, this is sick. It's very cool. But it doesn't really go anywhere. It just kind of pans in and out and switches sides. Like, no, it's actually going to go lower. Okay, this is uh, unexpected, actually. It has to be higher, probably below TF. Yep, that's that's where Z Zill is going to be. Probably solid. Maybe even solid. Like, no, that's beautiful. It has to be beautiful just because it is actually really beautiful. If only it was more dynamic, though. I wish they would. The voice line is great. It's just more dynamic camera work. Or, like, camera work, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, Zill's good. Reminds me of Bards. That's where I wanted to put it initially, but Bards is so much more thematically on point. Beautiful. Rek'Sai, cinematic as fuck. Dune vibes. 100% cinematic. Honestly, right here for me. Like, perfect them thematically. Really epic animation. Like, tell me that's not cinematic. Uh, I, I think it's one of the most satisfying animations for sure. Rex size is pleasantly short as well. Exactly. Not too long. Like, I think everything about Rex size is perfect. Mm, yeah, maybe. It's somewhere, it's somewhere on this top row of cinematic for me i'm not really gonna worry too much about the placement when these are all just like great in their own right scion's better absolute queen absolute queen rex is yeah all right let's keep it pushing we're approaching the end of our list akshan honestly one of the more bland ones for me i'm not a big indiana jones vibe guy um, I also just hate watching that animation because it's so easy to achieve. I think Akshan might be the lowest. Might be the lowest. Uh, Shurima. It's definitely solid. At least it's short. It's not even that short though. It doesn't feel short. That's the issue. For me, yeah. I mean, like, for me, it's actually going right here. It's beautiful, but like, I don't appreciate it at all. So for that, it's gonna go Poppy tier. Cause that's exactly what Poppy is. It's beautiful, but I don't appreciate it. It shows their weapon, but I don't care about their weapon. Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna put Nar above these two as well. Cause this is more fun for me. Let's keep going. Cinematic, right? The only true ascended, bro. Zerath is a demon. Um, I actually didn't feel cinematic vibes from him there. Very sick though. Let's watch it one more time. I'm torn. Literally nuking his followers. Zerath is badass. I agree. I think I'm gonna put Zerath exactly where Azir is. I think they're pretty much on par with each other. I I definitely think it's a little cornball-y in some sense because they use like pretty much the exact same animation for the first part of this first and second, but definitely go up there for sure. They're both pretty, pretty good and very satisfying to watch and achieve. Very badass for sure. Absolute villainy, very good. Cool, that concluded Shurima. As we can see, they were pretty broken there, honestly. Very, very broken region in terms of cinematics. Super sick level ups all around. Riot just invested all. They, they literally blew their budget on Shurima for whatever reason. They literally just blew their budget on Shurima, which, you know, I appreciate. All right, Zoe, super cinematic. Super beautiful, super satisfying to achieve. Like, when you hit that, you definitely feel like A, you won the game, B, it was worth the effort. 
and see the like the the flavor of it like zoe's cheesiness and like silliness shines through really hard so for that reason zoe's definitely getting cinematic tier i think she has to basically be right where bard is probably below yeah let's put her below bard looks really good to me zoe's is pleasantly short it has a silly poro in it the flourish at the end is what pushes it over the top definitely beautiful in game it's worse because the voice lines overlap yeah all right let's keep that pushing i think zoe's like pretty hard to argue with she's really great okay now i know a lot of people love a souls but for a 10 cost champion level up I, lit I literally enjoy Zoe's more. I don't know. I think he's going to hit beautiful for sure. It's definitely beautiful, but it doesn't do it for me personally. Kind of in the same way as like... Like something like Akshan. Kind of. It's beautiful, but it doesn't do much. I agree. I think I'm literally just going to give it low beautiful for me. I, I love the Shadow Owls ones way more because they're so much thematically like better. He just kind of moves and swirls with the constellations. His art is super beautiful, yeah. Like, you can't deny it's beautiful, but it doesn't really do much. And it's definitely the other Celestials that make Targon's level up the satisfying thing. I mean, Aesol's level up, like, the satisfying part of his build. So, yeah. Sorry, Aesol. His voice lines are solid, but, yeah. Definitely like the other parts of his design better than his animation level up. Diana's cool. Pretty much a spinny card one. Like, a little uninvolved, which definitely hurts her. I'm actually gonna give her mid. Probably put her towards the bottom of mid. I'm gonna put... Yeah. Could be better. Doesn't really do much for me. The, the art of the moon reflecting on the water is beautiful. But the hand is really ugly, to be honest, for me. So, yeah, sorry, Deanna. Let's try Leona. Now, this is God. very cool to me. But also mid. <laughs> like, it's better than Diana, but not that much better. I think also they both get hurt by just, like, not having much flavor in there. And like they're they're like kind of tropes and archetypes in and of their own. Like they have to carry their trope and archetypes, so like they can't really show much of their personality, which hurts their level up a lot, right? It's like a cool aesthetic, but ultimately kind of spinny. I can agree with that. To shine like the sun, you must burn like it. Yeah, like they they are hurt by the fact that they have to represent their archetype. Basically, is my thesis on these two. Let's keep it pushing. Only five. We're on the last five. This flew by. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. Let's let's enjoy the last five animations together. Let's go. Sorry, Leona. The power of the immortal sun. What? The oh. Power of the stars. Why did Soraka glitch out? This world has great potential. Wait, where have I? S this is literally just LeBlanc's. Wait a second. I didn't realize Soraka and LeBlanc's were just identical. They definitely modeled those two together. By the power of the stars. Literally just LeBlanc's, but worse in my opinion. I don't know what she's smashing her staff into. And I personally hate Soraka. So she's going in mid for me, sorry. It's like pretty, the night nice sky behind it is pretty, but we all we already have that in Aesol and Zoe, so it's like meh. Like, you, you can't just get into solid and beautiful because you're Targonian, unfortunately. They should have done something with her in a Stellicorn and made it cooler, but they didn't. This world has great potential. We don't see her hooves, bad animation. Per oh my god. Alright, Taric, Mount Targon, very satisfying. I think Taric definitely hits beautiful. Definitely beautiful. I definitely enjoy watching this every time. It's pretty fast. And it's Giga Chad. 
I like it a lot more than some of these. I'm going to put it Rumble tier, basically. I, I think Tarek and Vagar are, like, perfect. Perfectly, like, explain who they are and where they are. And I'm kind of a sucker for the ones that show their setting off really well. So I really appreciate that aspect of them. Like, Vagar is evil, like, Lair and Tarek at Mount Targon. I'm definitely a sucker for those ones where it shows where they are to explain who they are. So I definitely think he's in beautiful and really enjoy seeing that every time it happens. And it does help a lot. That's pretty fast. Cool. Not even original tier for Helios. They copy and pasted his league trailer. I've never, I've never enjoyed Aphelios's to be honest. Kind of cool, like mildly epic, but at the end of the day, pretty mid. We're just gonna toss it at Rito, please. Definitely about the same. Well, I have to, I have to differentiate Udir and um. Let me, let me just make a tier for that, honestly. Oh, whoops. Wait. What did I do? What did I just do? Did I just mess everything up? Emo boy time? Wait. No, no, no. Okay, what did I do? Put that there. Yeah, and the spinny card solid was above. Okay, okay. I got it solved, I think. Yeah, this is the right order. Okay. So yeah, like I was saying, um, yeah, it's just not like, Aphelios just doesn't do anything for me. I wanted to make a separate category for Udir and uh, Viego. So we'll make a column below, add a row below and say good for gays and girls. Slash girls. And that'll be these two. Cause that's definitely where they belong and then this is Rito please yeah I moved it up two slots okay thank you guys let's finish off strong with these last two Ooh. oh satisfying as hell when you hit this you feel like a god you get an unstoppable force Malphite's gotta be cinematic right definitely cinematic for me Above Jax, above Nocturne, above Talia. I think that's where kind of where he taps out, above Talia. Because I think Evelyn's is really beautiful. And all these ones as well. Nasus is sick. You can't just get, like, same issue with, like, uh, Scion. You can't really get higher just by having that Michael Bay effect. You have to kind of tell me more about Malphite, which this doesn't do. But it is really sick. So, yeah. Stream starting to buffer. F. Sorry, guys. And finally, I'll watch that one more time. Pantheon. I will make the gods remember this day. Beautiful. Beautiful Pantheon. We all know, we all know Pantheons pretty intimately. As we had to watch it 100 billion times. Great voice lines. Super solid. Definitely beautiful. For me, it's going to be low cinematic. I could definitely see an argument for it being higher. And I think that is where my list ends up. So let me save this image. Download the image. Beautiful. Cool. So yeah, this is where we end up. We've got Timo at the top. A lot of cinematic ones, actually. We've got Jin on for a tier. A lot of beautiful ones. I, I can argue, I can understand the TF argument for being cinematic. Um, a lot of solids. Mid. I think, yeah, I think I did pretty good with all the bottom tiers. They're not really that, like, where they, where they end up here is not super important, but. Yep, I'm pretty satisfied with this list, so thank you guys so much for watching. Tell me if you think I butchered any of these placements. Don't tell me if you think Aureli is better or higher up because I don't care. And thank you so much for watching. My name is Max Got the Tracks. Um, yeah.
long video today, but I appreciate it a lot if you sat through it and enjoyed it. So thank you so very much. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Mid. Yep, she's mid. Cool. Goodbye, everybody. Have a good one. Until I see you next time.